What's up nerds, I'm the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to my first time recording a mobile app. Uh, just because I want to. And this time it's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. You see, I am... How do I say it? I, I'm not actually a, a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! The card game. I did enjoy it a bit. I had some cards, but it's it's never. I it was in the beginnings, like the Yugi deck. I had the Kaiba deck. No, I never had the Yugi deck. I had the Kaiba deck twice. Don't ask me. Um, and I had a few cards here, a few cards there. Traded a bit, but never really got into it. But I absolutely loved the anime. Just because it is the the first uh, season is so. A, it was something new, or, yeah, more or less new, and B, it is so hilarious. Like, when they just make up effects of their uh, cards as they go along. It's like, if you see the card, when they hold it up, there is nothing written on it. There is most of the time one uh, Japanese symbol, that's it. And they know, yeah, this card, uh, like, like the... Um, What's it called? Uh, Celtic Guardian? Is it one of Yu-Gi-Oh's favorite cards? Uh, the guy that looks like Link. It is not an effect monster. I mean, there is a version of it that has an effect, but it is not an effect monster. But if Yugi wanted to, then this card had the effect like, I don't know, he, he could have said it destroys everything evil on the field, and it would. He could have said it has a sword, so of course it can't be reached by other uh, things without a weapon and thus always kill his enemy in the combat. If he wanted to, he could say that. My favorite um, my favorite part, and after this I will start with the game, my favorite part was when he battled... Um, who was it? Was it Weevil? I don't know. He battled someone and... Uh, or was it Meiko? Tsunami? I don't know. Someone. He battled someone and with either a field card or with a magic card, there was some card involved that, um, you yeah, know, with a lot of water. I think it was Mako with the Yumi card, which uh, made the whole field water. After, no, sorry, okay, now I got it. It was Weevil, and he had a card that made it rain for some reason, and the rain did something. I don't know, I can't remember, I think healed all his uh, monsters, I don't know. And then Yugi played his summon skull, and we will was like, ha ha ha, but this card it's so much too weak, ha 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 ha. And Yugi was like, yes, but, but, look at the field, it's wet. And my dark monster, or my fiend monster, is not a thunder monster or anything, it is a fiend monster, has a dark thunder attack or whatever, and since it is electricity, which is stated on anywhere in the card but since it has an electricity effect it does way more damage to all your monsters who are now wet because of the rain and I was sitting there like I do have that card what how what how would you actually come up with this that's just not possible anyway I loved it <laughs> uh, I loved um, what was it called? Dual City or uh, Battle City? Liked it. What I did not like was the, the Egyptian uh, era with the uh, three um, god cards. So I don't know. I, I know in, in German they were called Götterkarten, which is god cards. But uh, Slypha, um, Obelisk, and Ra, Winged Dragon of Ra, or whatever. Those I didn't like. I like capsule mo uh, capsule monsters was a great idea, and I like I really like Yu-Gi-Oh GX, but and after that I haven't I have not watched any. Um, but let's get back to the game. Actually, I do not want to show you much of the game itself. It's just that I have amassed. Uh, wait, do you see my? Yeah, you see my mouse. I have amassed two thousand five hundred eighty-nine gems. So, as far as I can remember, I can buy 50 packs of cards now. 
because one pack are uh, one pack is oh it could buy 51 packs because let's just go to uh, ultimate rising the sorry i have to oh shit dropped something doesn't matter would you please go in there okay it's a bit wonky with the uh screen capture and it works pretty well but since it's a free product, I'm using Mobison, by the way, I'm not sponsored or anything, I just say it, uh, I'm using Mobison, uh, because it was recommended to me. But since it is uh, a free product, the quality jumps from being pretty good, like right now, I think it looks pretty decent, to sometimes very pixelated, so please excuse me if that happens. So yeah. Um, one pack costs 50 and 10 packs, of course, 500 gems. So yeah, I can buy five times 10 packs, so 50 plus one, I can buy 51 packs. Makes sense, right? Uh, and this is just a pack opening. B just because I started a few days ago, I love this game, I love the way you play it, uh, but my deck is pretty shit because I only buy about 10 packs of boosters once had some decent cards in there but other than that i was thinking yeah i will make a uh, video about it so i should uh keep my money my gems i'm sorry i i i activated the do not disturb i don't know why these notifications still show that is just not possible before I will block them out or something like that before I <laughs> I went to uh, I went to the airplane mode because I thought yeah if there's airplane mode I won't get WhatsApp messages I won't get SMS um, um, or uh, what's it called in English just messages at all nobody will call me but then I realized yeah I need uh, I need my Wi-Fi to play this game so yeah well uh, off with the airplane mode so now I have do not disturb which does not work in it seems. Anyway, let's jump. God freaking damn it. Uh, let's jump right into the game. Or let's jump right into the opening. I think I got some Neo Impact packs. So I, I will just go with 20. I think 20 uh, packs of Ultimate Rising. Since my I started with uh, Kaiba instead of Yugi. So I started with two blue eyes white dragons maybe i get a third one and maybe i get the ultimate dragon would be cool but let's see we we'll just go get 10 packs by the way yes of course i will purchase it i am not a good Yu-Gi-Oh player or not a great Yu-Gi-Oh player like i said i i enjoy the game first pack seems like it's nothing special i do enjoy the game but i'm not quite good at it and i do not know all the cards by heart it, like some people go through oh this card this card this card oh nice i got this card it's not me but i will only i will go through the cards themselves if someone catches my interest i will read it but mostly i will just oh book of secret arts this card i know i will just read the rare ultra rare secret rare. i will just read the rarest card in the pack a spellcaster type monster equipped with this card increases its attack and defense by 300 it's not bad. Next card. So for those of you who don't know, A, as you just saw, you only get three cards per deck, uh, per booster. And at first you see, <coughs> oh, sorry, uh, you see a little animation. It's Karibo. The more Karibos there are on the screen, the better the cards will be. Sometimes something else uh, happens, like one Karibo winking at you or there being a giant Karibo or your character just looking at you and it's just like okay then you see there is something there element soldier I like the element cards the element soldier element fairy whatever fulfillment of the contract it's a spell card uh, pay 800 life points select one ritual monster from your graveyard special summon it and equip it with this card when this card is destroyed remove the equipped monster from play Wow it's not bad if you play a ritual deck. Oh, see? Three Karibos. And yeah, that's it. Sometimes the pack itself shines and tells you, whoa, there is something. Some something, yes, yes, something. 
Fortress Whale. Um, this monster can only be ritual summoned with the ritual spell card Fortress Whale's Oath. But it's pretty strong. Melis Ascendant and Win the Wind Charmer. 500,000, 500. Flip. When this card is face up on the field, take control of one wind monster your opponent controls. Yeah, that's not bad. It's nothing too special, but getting control of an opponent's Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon, yes, yes. Yugi, go catch this Pokemon. Mm hmm, sure. Uh, getting control of one of your opponent's monsters is not bad. Also, the Earth Charmer. I guess it's the same, but with Earth. While this card is face up on the field, take control of one Earth monster of your opponent controls. Nice, and I like the artwork. That that's one thing I really like Yu-Gi-Oh artwork. It sometimes looks pretty childish, but it is pretty. It um, aussagekräftig. Hmm. Uh, um, uh, what's it called? Hey, that's almost the same card, or almost the same guy or girl or whatever with the same thing. Uh yeah, they, are, they, they, they just show... Why is this a rare card? I mean, it, it's not bad. Uh, uh, 1550 points of attack, it's not bad. But why is this a rare card? I don't know. I don't claim to know things about Yu-Gi-Oh! I just know the game. Our class of courage and our rare is Bikuri Box. Is a fusion between Crest Clown and Dream Clown, and it's decent, pretty decent. And a normal pack again. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Mm. It's cold by now. I don't mind it. I don't know what people have against cold coffee. It's again, wind the wind charmer. Okay, can we get anything interesting in this packs? I mean, those, the cards until now, they, they are not bad, but I wouldn't call them good. Blazing Hita. Muka Muka, I know this card. This card gains 300 attack and defense for each card in your hand. Oh, yes. Uh, in, I think, was it the Game of Thrones uh, version or in a DS game? I, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! quite a lot on different uh, consoles because I just enjoy it. And in one game, this card was just... Uh, my deck kind of revolved around this card, and it was awesome. Like, against a normal opponent, you... Oh, see, see, see? It's shining! Against a normal opponent, of, against a, a human, it would be garbage. Shadow Ghoul. Uh, this card gains 100 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Ooh. Oh, yeah, wasn't this the card that they fused in the anime with the Labyrinth? The Labyrinth Shadow then. Turtle Oath. Okay. And Dream Clown. Oh, I know this card. I had this card. When this card is changed from attack position to defense position, destroy a mountain monster on your opponent's side of the field. Wow. So you just need to keep it alive and... Oh, see? Three Karibos. A giant Karibo. Come on. Come on. Look at me. Kaiba, Yugi. And it's shining again. There are a few different other things like... Um, what's it called? Glyphs in the background. Ooh, Great Mammoth of Goldfine, Snake Hair and Dragon Zombie, White Elephant's Gift, and Fusion Gate. While this card is on the field, the turn player can fusion summon one fusion monster from their extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from their hand or field. So it is like polymerization. By the way, it's an ultra rare, ultra rare. But you banish the cards, so you put them out of the game, right? I'm not entirely sure. What? That were ten deck, uh, ten packs. Damn, that went by fast. Not bad, not bad. I mean, nothing too crazy. I think. I I can't appreciate the ultra rares as much as I should. I think, because I never know if they are actually great or just rare for some point uh, for some reason or the other yeah let's go next one just give it to me we have 14 minutes in oh three karibos well better than one of course so it is a bit laggy right but 
bear with me. Oh, Kaiba looks at me and it's... Mm, this could be something interesting. Spell of Sword in life. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mask of the Accursed. God damn it, I hate this. There is this one guy who always uses this one against me. The monster equipped with this card cannot attack. The control of the equipped monster takes 500 points of damage during each of your standby phases. This card is amazing. In my opinion. I don't know if it's actually... Like... Universally great, but I think it is awesome. Griffin's Feather Duster, Karate Man, and Dark, the Dark Charmer. So there is a Charmer for each of the... Is it called Elements in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's just call it Elements. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bam! Kaiba looking at us like, mm, you know it's good. Raging Iria. She will be... Uh, she is the water charmer i guess because she looks like that has a little something or other behind her so yeah ritual cage and wicked breaking flamberge bow oh oh no okay uh, i have a different card that looks kind of similar Send one card from your hand to a graveyard, equip this card to a monster. It gains 500 attack, negate the effects of monsters destroyed by battle with the equipped monsters. The effects of monsters... Okay, so if the equipped card kills like the man eater bug, the man eater bug says, yeah, we'll destroy your monster then. You say, nope, just kill you with this. Nope, no way it is happening. Mm -mm, no, no, no way, Jose. Card rotator. Bite choose. Good. <laughs> Big curie box again. Sure, why not? Gonna take it. One curie bow, nothing else. So if I storming win the wind charmer, technically. Um the mammoth again and fulfillment of a contract again. So if I ever do more uh app stuff or mobile games, I will probably either buy a better program to mirror my phone on the screen or just get something I will get something to up the quality because I think this one's okay for like showing cards because yeah you don't see the fancy animations that well but the card itself is still on the screen so there's no problem change all face up monsters on the field to defense position wow not bad. So, like I said, yeah, for, for a pack opening, I think this is sufficient, but if I were to ever play a game, this program wouldn't do... Wow, you look! Okay, um, this is so small, I really can't... I barely can't read it. Sorry if I get so near to you. When this card is normal summoned, it gets one of the following effects for each Divine Dragon Exelion in your graveyard when this effect resolves your choice. These effects cannot accumulate. This card gains 1000 attack. Damn. If this card is an, uh, destroys an opponent monster's, opponent's monster by battle, it can attack once again in your... in a row, okay. And when this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster. Wow. That's that's an interesting card. But then again, you would have to have it three times in your deck to, for or at least two times for it to gain this effect. And it's a tribute monster as far as I can remember now. Dark Cat with a white tail. King of Yami Maki. Yami Makai, sorry. Hmm, not bad, not bad. And Crimson Sunbird. It's Faith Bird and Skull Red Bird. I got one of them. I don't know if I have the Faith Bird. Ooh. Ooh, it's shining blue and Kaiba looks at me. I don't know. Raging Iria, Guardian Trice, and Judgment. <laughs> Wasn't this in Yugi's deck as well, the Judgment? Nothing too special of a card, but... Oh, 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 see? The hieroglyphics in the background? There is something. I don't know what they mean, but there is something. Guardian Trice, once again. Secret Pass to the Treasures. And Skelangel. Draw one card. Flip effect. 
Well, it is useful. You just play it in defense po position, you sh set it in defense position on the field, and you just draw a card when it's killed. Because it will be killed. It is just not possible for the enemy to attack with something that cannot kill it. That, that's, that would be, yeah. So, let's go with one more of those, and then the last, the, the rest, I will, I probably will make a, a separate video out of this, because we have 20 minutes already. And I need to do, be somewhere soon. <laughs> Guardian Bow. Skull Guardian. This monster can only be ritual summoned with the ritual spell card, no vox sprayer. You must also offer monsters whose total level star is equal to 7 or more as a tribute from the field or your hand. Okay. And Muka Muka again. Not gonna complain. So yeah, probably I will split it into two videos. Maybe I'll even play some more between them to get to the point where I can buy uh, 30 packs of the Neo Impact as well. Conscription and Skull Angel again. What's the third uh, type of booster called? I think something with Deep Sea or anything like that. Or Depth. Don't know. Doesn't interest me much, but we'll see. Oh, the Snake Hair. This one's uh, used with a few fusions, I think. Rod of the Mind's Eye and Trap Jammer. When your, opponent's, when your opponent activates a trap card during the battle phase, negate the activation and if you do, destroy it. Why not? Why not? One Karibo. Nothing special. Oh, no. yeah. Sorry. It's blue. So, can we get the blue eyes white dragon? Just ask him. Storming Wind. Fortress Whale's Oath. Oh, so I can... Uh, this card uses to ritual summon Fortress Whale. You must also tribute monsters whose total levels equal to 7 or more from the field or your hand. Okay. Eerie the Water Charmer. So we almost have all the charmers. I think only one's missing is fire. I know. Technically, lightning should uh, light should be there as well, right? I don't know. Snake hair once again. Contact with the aqua mirror, and book of secret arts again. So it seems my luck is meh. I mean, it's okay. I got one or two ultra rares so far. But yeah, it's kinda nothing really special. Earth Charmer, again. But I like I like the uh, idea. I don't know if if you don't know the game itself, um, you can see which cards are in this boost or like uh, possibly in those boosters. Let's go here. Novox's Prayer and Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. That's the one I was uh, talking about before. So I have one card from your graveyard. Equip this card to a monster that loses 500 attack, but it can make a second attack during each battle phase. It's pretty great. Pretty cool. Um, you can see what uh, cards are in this booster edition and how often you can get them. And it will like tick off like I got this ultra rare, so I cannot get this ultra rare again. I got three times this normal card, so I can get can't get this again. Except for when I reset the whole pack, which means I can get everything in the same amount again. But yeah, all the cards are back. So if I if I just hunt for one ultra rare, and I reset the deck. Or if I don't have it already, but have almost all the cards in this uh, edition, then it is pretty uh, highly. What what's the word I'm looking for? It's highly probable that I will get this uh, the ultra rare soon. But when I got it already and I needed it a second time, I have to reset. But the probability is very low because yeah, I just reset it and can get all the cards again. Hope that made sense. Moral boost and Skull Red Bird again. Curibo. Anything? Blue? Yellow? No, nothing. Just a pack. Bite choose once again. Ritual Cage and ready for intercepting. Target one warrior or spellcaster type monster in the field, change the target to face down defense position. 
It's nice. Uh, nice. It's nice with flip effects. Ooh, three Kuribos and blue. Can we get something interesting? Ooh, and Kaiba looks at us like, mm, you know it. King of Yamimakai. Fortress Whale again. I might put this card in my deck, because why not? And the Mask of the Occurs again. Yeah, I won't complain. Like I said, this, this card, in my opinion, is pretty damn amazing. Or pretty damn... How do I say it? Annoying. If you play against it. So yeah, guys. For now, that's about it. Although, no, I will buy one pack more because I got the uh, 89 loose uh, change around as well. So I will just buy one pack and hope for the best. It's one Karibo, nothing special it seems. Was it worth it? Well, it's just a few gems and you get gems, at least in the beginning you get gems very fast. Storming something, ascending soul and backup soldier. Ooh. I remember this card, what does it do? While there are 5 or more monsters in your graveyard, target up to 3 non-effect monsters with 1500 or less attack in your graveyard, add them to your hand. That is actually not bad. Because flip effects, uh, tributes, something like that. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, let's see if there is something right here for me. Nope, nothing. Well. Uh, this game is free, so go and get it. <laughs> Tell me if you do. Uh, then I could uh, put you on my friends list and could send you this guy, the Vagabond. If you don't know who it is, just look up some videos for this game. Maybe I will do a... Maybe I will do a... Not really a let's play, but a look at this game. Show you. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I'm the Renegade Cactus, and I gotta run. Bye bye.